Hello, good people of Earth. It's Chris Dershmit, and I have some information I would like to share again regarding the Summers Wells case. So if everything's working for me here, I'm gonna try to show some pictures and some new information if I can help uh, on the case. You guys will remember this previous picture of Summer in the back seat strapped in with her shoulder harness, which is um, twisted and the uh, safety belt, the lap and the shoulder safety belt, our seat belt in the back. I'm going to try to decipher what she's saying in some of this. And I would think her brothers, her mom won't want to admit and why the grandma is not being questioned. We should be able to have that because from what I have discovered and I'm alleging, alleging everything in this video as all my videos, um, Summer was not capable of wandering off. So that scenario is not possible. Um, I will prove that in what I'm gonna show here and her health condition is very bad. But um, let me just give what <clears throat> information and evidence I've found. And I think the people will figure out the truth the fastest uh, than many of the experts, so-claimed experts and private investigators and such. Um, but I do love the uh, Equidine team and the church people. They're amazing and I totally support you and love what you're doing. So this is not jumping to any conclusions. This is showing exactly what's coming out of Summer's mouth and uh, signs and symptoms on her. Okay, let's get into it. This first video I'm sure a lot of you've seen and this is on another YouTuber station, but it can be found probably on TikTok I was not able to enlarge it uh, too much more, but I've enlarged it better than any I've seen so far. So let's go over this video. Summer. I've slowed it down in slow mo. Uh, uh, Mommy, don't. Mommy, don't. It's my opinion what she's saying. Mommy, don't. Mommy, don't. Now look at her face. These are more signs of the cyanosis, post-traumatic stress. She's got big blue on the uh, middle part of her nose, uh, it's called the nasium area. Her eyes are turning blue. Her lips are turning blue. She's going into post-traumatic stress from some severe, I am alleging abuse. Um, Let's just keep going here. Uh, I don't think she was capable, like I'm saying, of wandering off. The old, either she had a health problem and they did something to her and covered it up, and, or a bear is the only one that would drag her off. And I want to ask if the Equidine team does go out again to look up in the trees because they do drag their prey up in a tree so other animals won't get it. And I do think the most likely thing is she did suffer from continually being left in the back hot seat car on a summer's day. Maybe that is why her name has some symbolism in it. And maybe they did drop her into a well. If she died in the summer and maybe they did drop her into a well. Probably not on her property, on some other property, but also in the, other falls where she's jumping on the cliffs. If you stop motion on her back, she's got one lump. It is not the scalpula because it's one lump on the left side on her back, a very large lump. Maybe that is a BB bullet too. And it just took the right motion when she's swimming to dislodge and go into her heart or lung or veins or arteries. Let's go over a couple more of this. Uh, 
if I can get him to pull up these uh, pictures and videos I want to go over. Mommy, don't. Mommy, don't. Look at her eyes and her nose. She would go to her dad and not her mom. They didn't bond at all, and Candace didn't want a female. I know she tried and bought her a lot of things later, but it only takes one time to leave one child in one car. You can see how hot it is in there, and she's strapped in the back. It's very hot. You can see the sun coming in. And why they would take this picture when she's just going into a horrible, like a bad dream, of remembering some horrible things. Luckily she goes back. She's taking the cover off of her cell phone. Maybe she was uh, left in the back car and they were video recording her while the mother was in the store again, getting groceries. And after so many times she got cyanosis and, th and then she just became so weak that finally she, they left her in the car one too many times. Let's review it once more. Get <laughs> Mommy, don't. Mommy, don't. Look at her eyes. Cyanosis, horrible. Look at her face, it's horrible. Okay, let's go on to the next one. I'm getting low battery here. I've already brought this up. Copy the link, educate-yourself.org, electronic stalking, law enforcement complicit in electronic stalking and mind control activities. This has been done to me since 2001. Know it, find out, subpoena these records, and then they're going to say it's protected, privileged, classified, and then you can find the law that you cannot use privilege or classified or top secret or any other defenses when it's murder, premeditated murder. That's the only thing I'll go into about my case and many others that have been affected by this horrible, 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 different types of mind control. Now here's her fingers. If you see it, the cyanosis all over her thumb, going down her arm, it's in the bottoms of all of her nails here. I have some better views of it. Here's the picture everybody remembers of the last picture we ever have of summer. I hope this is showing. And that's what these are here on her face cyanosis. I believe now it is not bruising. It's more signs of the cyanosis, more signs of the cyanosis all over here. It can just be killing her a little bit each time, every time she's left in the back seat of the car. You can see all the blue. You can see all the blue again. Big blue over here. There's a, there is a big sore up here or cyanosis. And I have already talked about there was some type of huge hole, possibly a BB, possibly from being hit or fallen. She's got severe dehydration right here and more of the cyanosis all over here, the blue. Get down to her fingers just once more. And a lot of people thought this might be blood, more blood stains or from the Slurpee. There's more of the cyanosis and swollen fingers, cyanosis all over here, the blue. And her arm isn't normal here. I mean, I've seen a lot of broken arms. I'm an x-ray tech. And 
it just isn't laying straight every time I look at it from the side upside down and backward. Maybe she broke her arm trying to get out of the seat belt even she was left in the car either at the grocery store or at home and her arm broke and that's why there's blood here possibly or it can be from the slurpee I'm not sure. You think there'd be more blood, but her arm just doesn't look like it could be straight in here. And this is the ulna and radius, and it should be straight. And it just doesn't look like there's any possibility it could be straight. I don't know if she's trying to get out of the seat belt and she was so hot in there. Within 10 minutes, you can die. And they got a lot more than, she said, milk and cheese. And there was a lot more than milk and cheese. I bet they were left a long time. There's just blue all over here. Okay, just have one or two more things to show. I had highlighted again here, but I think I've shown everything to see if it comes a little bit more clear here. I don't know why it looks kind of pearl white, just maybe no blood flow at all, and then the cyanosis. So I, I want you to look at this angle and know that she couldn't have got very far. They wouldn't have had to use all of the search teams and thousands of dollars if they would have looked at this and believe some of us people on social media. And I know there's 90% out there. They're just making up a lot of things that aren't true. They're just trying to help maybe. And then there's some that just get on there and gab and say nothing correctly. But anyway, I'm giving my expertise as a radiologist. I have four college degrees and I've been a targeted individual for over 20 years. So I think I do know a little bit of something. And I'm the one that has the clearest pictures of this. Why don't if uh, McDonough is so great, why doesn't he have this enlarged if he's been a police detective his entire life and he's retired and he couldn't even do this. He goes and drills Don and Candace instead of getting hardcore evidence like I'm doing. So this does kind of look like these other shadows because it's so hot in here that it's casting really hot shadows in the car. But like um, other people have noticed too, there is some wetness here. It could have even been from previous because I'm trying to be equally balanced and fair, but there is some wet signs here. It could even be oil, it could be from the Slurpee or it could be blood. And her arm does not look normal here. Let's see a lump right here that doesn't look right for the jacket. It just looks all staged. I mean, you don't normally just leave your jacket all wrinkled down here and they were out in the lake. Why is there no dirt on this at all? And she's got severe cyanosis and she's been having severe post-traumatic stress and continually even photographed in the backseat of hot summer cars on hot summer days I'm, I'm referring to. Very, very blue. All down here too, it's blue. And the only other thing I was gonna show, I think I've showed most of it was the, um, One more good picture up here. It's a close up of the finger if this is showing. Got a real good close up, but this one's a little bit more not as sharp image, but it shows the fingers very good of the cyanosis. That it's, it's there's a little bit of dirt up here, but this is all blue. They're down to here. So sad. And know this and know that this is what happened to her has to do with her poor health condition. She would have never been able to get away. I did have a description I was gonna read for you of cyanosis, a very good description. And I also had a, uh, guess I can't find it right now. Maybe this is it. You can pull it up if this is showing. Here it is. Here's one definition of it. He says cyanosis is a physical sign causing bluish discoloration of the skin and mucous membrane. Cyanosis 
is caused by a lack of oxygen in the blood. Cyanosis is associated with cold temperatures, heart failure, lung disease, and smothering. And Candace said something about smothering, and I and I know that's a southern um, slang term. Um, she was smothered. I think she was smothered by the heat in the back seat of cars. It is seen in infants at birth as a result of heart defects, respiratory distress syndrome, syndrome or lung and breathing problems. Blood containing a red pigment, pigment hemoglobin in its red blood cells. Hemoglobin picks up oxygen from the lungs then circulates through the arteries and releases it into the cells through tiny capillaries after giving up its oxygen. After giving up its oxygen, blood circulates back in the lungs through the capillaries and veins, et cetera. There's peripheral, that means going out throughout the entire system, throughout the entire veins and arteries. There's central cyanosis. You can uh, look it up yourself in the, the, it's called the free dictionary here, medical-dictionary on the internet, medical-dictionary dot the free dictionary. again a picture of her thumb and I think I've covered just about everything for right now I had a couple other things but my battery's getting low here so I'm going to stop the video in a minute and yes it does look like either like a knife mark or dehydration right there and so much blue she's very sick and all these cyanosis that's why it looks almost like she's got light blue eyeshadow on. Bruising or cyanosis up here too, and on her temples. And I know she'd been hit a lot either by her brothers, blue again up here. There should be a law, isn't there a law throughout the country? I mean, you can tell how sick she is. She, she, does, she does look deceased to me with all the blue going on here. She's either close to death or is dead. There's more scarring down here. And please look at the tattoo on Candace's arm up here. If you turn it sideways, it looks like a little child with the hole in the bottom, possibly some gang sign or pedophilia sign, but it looks like a little child. Be really careful of those symbols. And please, I can't do everything from up here up in a northern state. I'm up here in Minnesota now. I live most of my life in Arizona and I'm planning on going back down there. But I really don't want any of these perpetrators to know my, my whereabouts. Um, I'm just stating that I can't do all of it, of course, but concentrate on what really happened to her. her real health conditions and 